morning. Today is day 64. And I'm here at the Super 8 this morning. In my own private room. It was great. I had great sleep. Big thumbs up. Thank you to my parents for getting me this room. But, um, I'm trying to like, hike out pretty late today. So I think I'm going to stay here till checkout and then maybe go do my resupply. Or maybe go do it now just because it's embar always embarrassing to be sitting outside the grocery store packing and up your food. Everyone looks at you like you're like crazy. So I might do that now. I don't know. The problem is I don't really know how much food to get because there's like the Waysides and the camp stores and the Shenandoahs which I'm entering today. But like it's kind of confusing and like kind of what they have or like I'm planning to buying too much food and just carrying a whole bunch of extra weight. I also want to send home my winter gear but it's a weekend so I can't do that. And also it's just like in the 30s tomorrow night so... No, no, it's been super hot. I'm also, I did my laundry in the bathtub last night, and so now I have all my stuff hanging up to dry, but some of it's still wet, so I have, like, the hair dryer going on it right now. Alright, it's Sunday morning, just after 11 o'clock. I literally waited right till when checkout was at the hotel to leave. But I'm walking over to Walmart now to do a resupply because yesterday when I was there I just bought a little bit of my resupply like when I'd see stuff I needed but mostly just like snacks and dinner and the t-shirt and shorts I wanted to get so head over there now and I think I'm going to head back over to where the hotel was because there's a Panera bread and I think I'm just going to hang out there and then I have a friend who's in town well like a hiking friend and his sister's visiting so I think we're somehow going to get a ride back to the trail with him but if not I'll just call a shuttle or even call Kevin from yesterday and just I'll figure out a way back but yeah I'm just trying to get a late start because I want to do like a Nero out of town since I did not Nero into town I'm in the Walmart parking lot packaging up my resupply. I think I did a pretty good job. I have a lot of food though, but it's okay because I'd rather have too much than not enough. I don't know like what the waysides are going to have, but I'll figure it out as I go. So I'm leaving Walmart and I'm going to go hang out in the Panera and like hopefully they have a cinnamon crunch bagel because I haven't had one of those in a year and they're so good. Just get that and like a drink and just sit and chill and use the Wi-Fi for a bit and then I think I'm going to get a ride back to the trail. If Oh geez, sister can't. Then I'll just like call my own shuttle. But yeah, I like Waynesboro so far. That Walmart was nice too. It was like a Walmart super center, but it was like clean and the people inside were clean. They go in a nice area. This is the OG, and he wants you to go subscribe to his YouTube channel. Let me get to a thousand. Come we, on. we need to get him monetized. <laughs> get me to a thousand. And this is my shuttle driver. Hey, one mile here. Thank you. Subscribe to Aaron's channel. It's really good. Good stuff. You'll like it. <laughs> Gonna drop back off at Rockfish Gap. Hiking out now. Out of town, and I just got some trail magic from a trail angel named Lisa. Who's stopping giving, <laughs> and giving out food and sandwiches and cookies and Gatorade. She had it all. It was nice. Doing the Shenandoah National Park because I filled out the permits I have in this box and then put it in there. And then part of it you carry with you, and the instructions are on here. So, yeah. All ready to go. 3.7 miles in for the day and I'm in McCormick Gap. This climb out of town has not been as intense as like other times leaving town, which is nice. On top of Verdun Mountain and there's these tractor seats just randomly like on the hill and then there's these communication tower things. Yeah. And the tractor seat. the next morning but I realized I never like closed out that video so basically I just kept hiking I think I did like an 11 mile day yesterday um just camped like kind of off in the woods at like I don't know it was kind of stealthy because it was like over a little hump 
off the trail. But yeah, I camped with OG there. But on our way down to that campsite yesterday, we met these like day hikers up on top one of the little mountain lookout areas and with these two dogs and you walked up to them and they were really friendly and stuff. So we just kept hiking and then OG kind of went up to the one dog because it seemed like the people were like, like kind of like, oh, come pet our dog. And it was this black lab and it like lunged at him and I thought it was just jumping on him. But it like lunged and like bit his arm and then like took a, like a little chunk out of his arm. So we were up there for a while and he like bandaged it up and stuff and the people were like so sorry that their dog had done that. They were like not expecting it at all. And but you could tell they felt terrible but we kind of like bandaged him up and had like me a sport and, and stuff he put on it. Good morning, today is day 65 and it is Monday, April 24th and I'm hiking out of camp, I think I left camp at like 7.25 this morning, and about a mile, a mile and a half in, but I camped with OG last night, but he got off at that past road there. He's getting picked up by Kevin, who's the trail angel that shuttled me into Waynesboro, because yesterday OG got bit by the dog, and he wants to go to urgent care and get it stitched up, because it looks pretty... <laughs> gnarly so i'm out on my own again but there's a shelter that would make today a 23.1 mile day and that that shelter there's a comment that this person is doing trail magic at it from 6 to 8 p.m so there's gonna be pizza and sodas and beer and more is all it says so I'm trying to make it there, kind of at a decent time, not super late, so I can get this trail magic, but we'll see how that goes. I'm also going to pass the Lost Mountain Camp Store and a wayside today, but the wayside's like 0.6 down a steep hill, so I'm not going to go to that. So, I was all like, I don't really want to do the Shenandoahs alone and all this stuff. And then I was all excited because OG was entering at the same time. And like, we were kind of talking about mileage because he had to do certain mileage to get to Harper's Ferry because he's meeting family. And I have certain mileage I have to do for the next 17 days to catch my flight home for graduation. And so like, it all kind of matched up. You're like, we could kind of hike around each other. But that <laughs> went out the window and he got bit by the dog. I think there'll be people at the shelter I'm going to tonight just because there's trail magic at it. So it's like it's posted on far out. So I think people will be there. But if not, it's really close to the road, which makes me a little nervous. So like, I mean it's nice that it's close to the road because the trail magic can get there, but it makes me nervous camping that close to the road, but that's kind of the entire Shenandoah's, just because it kind of follows the Skyline Drive, but it's okay if there's no one there or I just don't feel comfortable with the people there, I'll sit around, eat the trail magic, and then move on go camp somewhere else, so it'll be fine. Here is another reason why I wanted to hike with someone in the Shenandoahs, because there's a bunch of bears. But what do you do? It's hard to find a group, man. So I forgot to mention this yesterday, but when I was, when I got to town, I guess that was on Saturday, um, I noticed that the tip of my one tracking pole was gone, like, 
the metal piece had fallen out of the end. So it's just like the plastic that goes over the end and then there's like, you know, the carbon fiber after that. So the outfitter, it's like the rockfish gap or rockfish outfit or something. And I showed him my tracking pole and he like took it from me and didn't really even explain my options, just kind of like cut the tip off, like didn't talk about how much it would cost or anything, which was whatever, I was going to pay for it anyway, but like it was kind of odd. And so basically he like cut off the end of my trekking pole and then put on like the new tips and he had to do it on both of them just because like it was a two pack of tips and it was like $18 or whatever so I paid that and then he was like very like, he was like, we'd already established that I was through hiking I thought because he was like, he, he asked me where I started, at least that's what I thought, and I told him, but he's like, no, when? So I told him that, or whatever, and then he was, like, telling me how to adjust my tracking poles, like, to turn the little, like, screw thing there, and then, like, and I was like, oh, yeah, I know how to do that. Like, he thought I didn't know how to use my tracking poles, and, like, I hiked, like, over 800 miles to get to this outfitter, and I don't know how to use them. I don't know, it was very, like... He was rude too. I just wish I wouldn't have. I would have rather hiked to the broken tracking pole than given them my money, but they had the bad behavior after it already paid. So, what do you do? At least I have new tracking poles now, but I don't know. It's like not nice. It's okay though. Alright, it is 10 15 and I've gone about six miles for today. Um, so averaging a little over two miles an hour. I stopped and talked to these two ladies throughout section hiking. They're really nice. And then the one. Person's name was Lipstick, and I can't remember the other person's name, but they're really nice. They're going the other way, so but yeah, and about two and a half miles, I'm gonna stop, grab water at I think the Black Rock Hut, which is a shelter. They just call the shelters Mission and Dose huts because I guess a shelter to them is like more of like a picnic table pavilion area. So then, they're actual like AT shelters, like like we know, they call huts. So that's cool. I have taken on and off my jacket like twice already today. Cause like I'll go uphill and be really hot, and then so I'll take it off, and then right after that I go downhill, and it's like cold and shady and windy. But I can't really complain, cause if the weather this week is beautiful. It's like today the highs are 55, which is nice weather. Like. It was really hot last week. I think we had some days that reached 90 degrees and it was, I was sweating and there was not a lot of water and I was just, just feeling the heat. So it feels nice to have a bit cooler and I sleep better when it's cooler out. Like last night was in the 30s and tonight it's supposed to be in the 30s again. Which I'm glad I didn't send home my winter gear because it's quite chilly. I'm glad I still have my second sleeping bag and this fleece jacket that I was going to send home. I wore it this morning multiple times and I might still put it on later so it's nice to have things I wish I didn't have to carry them but it's okay at least my food doesn't weigh a ton because I didn't carry out a ton of food because there's um like the little camp stores and waysides and the Shenandoahs that you can resupply at. I'm here at the black rock which is actually not one black rock but like a heaping pile of rocks but yeah, I'm gonna try to figure out a way to get up on it because apparently there's great views from the top, but I don't really know. Maybe there's a side trail around the thing. I'm not really sure, but it's still pretty cool. Very nice view from the black rocks. It's a lot of rocks. I didn't stop at the black rock hut that I said I was going to stop at and get water. So I kept going to the Dundo picnic area, which had like water spigots that you're still supposed to filter the water out of the picnic tables, bathrooms, so, and trash cans. So I hung out there, got some water, had lunch, and was able to throw away my trash and stuff. It was nice. I'm only like 11 miles, a less than 11 miles from the shelter I want to stay at tonight. So that means I've done like 12 already, a little over 12. That's good. But yeah, the lunch I had slapped. It was so good. So I had these like weird, I wanted to show it, but there was people up there, so it was weird to be filming. But there was, I had these like flatbread pocket things. And inside of that, I put the vegetarian 
beef jerky stuff, the Beyond Meat jerky. And then I had those little packets of Velveeta cheese that you can squirt on stuff. And it, they come in a three pack. And I, my plan was to put them on this like lentil pasta I got that I was gonna have for dinners. But I only have an pasta for two dinners. So I had an extra cheese packet. So I put that on the fly. Oh my gosh, it was so good. It was great. All right, so I went up to the Lafayette and Camp store thinking it would be open, but I like clicked on the wrong camp store on Far Out when I was looking at it. I was looking at a different one that will hit tomorrow. And so that one is open. This one's closed. So the guy who knew it was closed I was like, what? And they looked on Far Out. Yeah, I clicked on the wrong one. But anyway, there was a guy there like doing maintenance on it. He was like cleaning the bathrooms in the store and getting it all ready to open because I think it's opening like May 6th is what he said. So there's like a little like covered alley thing in between like the store and like the bathrooms and showers and stuff and there's outlets and a bench so I sat there and charged my phone. I don't really need power because I have power banks but I was like might as well since I was already taking a break and the guy was really nice he was telling me all this cool stuff so yeah and I'm heading out. I have like less than six miles to the shelter I'm staying at tonight. So, yeah, the train today has been pretty easy. It's a 23 mile day, so if I've less than six miles, I've gone like over 17 miles already. It doesn't feel like that because it's been like pretty chill. So that is good. Three point four miles from the Pinefield shelter. There's a nice view. I'll show you. I am less than a mile from the shelter. I don't think I'm gonna film anything when I get there, but I don't know, we'll see. Cause I think it'll be crowded because of the trail magic that's happening. At least that's what I'm hoping. I kinda wanna see people because I've been alone all day ever since I left OG. I mean, I saw people like at lunch and stuff like at the other picnic tables, but like I didn't really talk to anyone. So yeah, but my plan for tonight is to enjoy the nice trail magic and set up my tent and just like, you know, nest in for the night. <laughs> it's in my tent. Probably edit some video. And just have a chill evening. And then I'm not gonna wake up, like, get out super early tomorrow because my plan is to do like 20 miles and it, the terrain looks like what today looked like. And I don't wanna get to camp like too early because then I always feel like going more, but I'm trying to kind of slow down.